Today I'm working the evening shift, and I usually wake up when uh, it's already bright out. I like sleeping in. I like working late. Well, I'd rather not work at all, but I like working in the evenings if I have to work at all. Um, and every morning, or every whenever I wake up, there's usually two cats bugging me. Um, usually they're a little bit restless. They want some sort of little treat that I usually give them when they wake up. Um, but always there's two cats on my bed when I wake up. And I, it takes me about five minutes to sort of ugh, get my bearings and crawl out of bed. And the cats, you know, I, the first thing that I, that I do is I consider the fact that my cats are laying on my bed. And I, oftentimes I find myself thinking, how do they just do that, just sit there? You know, you see the cat in that kind of peanut-shaped um, position where he's got his forepaws push, pushed underneath him and he's just sitting there, you know, not doing anything. Um, I have no way of knowing what's what that mood is that he's experiencing, but it seems good because he doesn't seem to be attempting to stop from doing that. Um, seems okay. Uh, so, you know, I'm laying there in my bed and I'm looking at my cats and they might be bugging me or they might just be sitting there on the bed doing nothing. And I ask myself, I wonder what it's like to be like that. I ask myself that a lot. Even if I'm not consciously asking myself that, I sort of stare at, in wonder at these cats. How do they do that? Um, and I can't help thinking that that's a valuable skill to learn. Now, that sort of begs the question, what are the handicaps to learning to do that, to just be? The number one handicap, if you ask me, in today's world, um, that or the number one... Um, objection, I guess, that I hear is something along the lines of jumpiness, jitters, anxiety. You go crazy if you just sit still too long. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm generalizing, but I tend to see that as a form of anxiety. You can't sit still because anxiety comes along. Um, and yet there seems to be evidence that you can exist without anxiety. Um, and there's evidence that a lot of people will go to crazy lengths to deal with anxiety, to deal with their, I guess, fear of being. Uh, people will take drugs that they know are dangerous, like heroin, uh, crystal meth, whatever, alcohol, stuff like that, in order to make their being something that they can either tolerate or actually positively enjoy. Um, but there does seem to be evidence that the state of just plain being does not necessarily have to be blocked or impeded or even um, seen as a terrible state by the intervention of anxiety. That's not necessarily um, inevitable in the state of being. Anxiety is not something that... Uh, or depression... Um, these are not things that are inevitable. That there are some people who seem to just be able to shut off and shut down and just be, and not be um, impeded by depression or anxiety. And that's what cat watching, uh, I guess, to me is. What are these cats doing? What's going on in their heads? What is it that, what's the secret to their capacity to do this, and why do I think that this is such a valuable capacity? I'm not saying that I have any answers to this, but um, it's something that certainly fascinates me. Uh, I don't see the default state, the state of just being, as guaranteed to be negative. There simply seems to be too much um, evidence to the contrary. Angst is not something that's guaranteed to be always there. 